paintings, my fine-eyed frescas. Wait, frescas are paintings on walls. Those aren't paintings. Hmm. So today's characters are Kyle and Clairvoyance. I've mentioned Kyle briefly in my Hey Twilight video when I was, or Hey Twilight fans video when I was berating them and saying, I wanted to talk about something useful today, like my Shakespeare action figure and my character Kyle. But no, I'll tell you about him now or her. It kind of depends. You see, Kyle was a part of this project called Project Hercules, which was performed by the well-intentioned extremist Dr. No. And Dr. No, no, not Dr. No from the James Bond movies. She's a little different. It's N-O-H as in no theater. She wears a no mask constantly. Um, yeah. Anyway, Dr. No did an experiment to figure out how exactly the brain works and everything. And the result of that was giving Kyle psychic powers. Of course, all this was done when he was a baby, so it doesn't really remember, but it was still there. Kind of hard to explain. But this, coupled with a few other things, basically made Kyle want everyone to think that she was a he. So as a little child, she walked around being completely, utterly androgynous. You couldn't tell. And uh, she basically confused a lot of people with that. But eventually, she found this guy named Zarkon, not my character, but still, and he gave her a nice, safe place to live and stay, and eventually, eventually, she got sucked into a time warp where she went from 8 to 16 years of age. When she was 16, she came out and now has full control of her psychic powers and has gotten over her caddyats with being a girl. However, just to prove that the experiments weren't without meaning, I have another character named Clairvoyance, or she calls herself Clairvoyance. Does she remind you of anyone? Anyone at all? Do I hear a psychomantis? Probably not, because I can't hear what you guys are saying. <laughs> yes, she modeled herself after Psychomantis because she likes that MGS character so much. However, it's more than that. She needs the gas mask to actually breathe oxygen-enriched air because she was caught in a train accident and that's sort of, like, she would have died, but Dr. No took her and basically replaced her lungs with a replacement that just needs enriched oxygen and they'll still completely work, and then fixed her brain, which also gave her psychic powers. Uh, Clairvoyance has a little bit more stronger psychic powers than Kyle, but Kyle knows how to use them better because he's had them for longer. She, again, depends on the time. And also, Kyle has two pet mice named Mr. and Mrs. Mousy, who later turn out to be familiar cats named Nola and Aaron. And the yeah, other characters in and of themselves, really. Um, but basically, those are the two wonderful mental experiments I created. I haven't written any stories with them that I finished, but... Uh, what the hell?